Hey, what's up guys? This is Oscar Bosch. In today's video, I'm going to post an update around the Flicker Strike build that I showed you in the past days. So, what changes have I put into action? So, in the armor plate, I have changed the power charge on critical strike support into ruthless support and the multi strike. Now I'm testing the awakened added cold damage to see if I can guarantee a, fro a freeze. Why would I guarantee freeze? Well, if you can scale a lot of chill effect and maybe even freeze bosses the one thing you want is to freeze bosses because you can scale this build a hundred percent more damage if you put heat shiver instead what's the main problem you're gonna lack a lot of survivability which is the main problem of all slayer builds and even more flicker strike builds other than that i changed the rank now I'm using Nemethyst Ring because I have fixed my resistances with this Taming variation. I already have 40% to all elemental resistances, so I'm capped in all, all resistances except for Chaos Res. I increased a lot of Chaos Res with this Ring, plus 57%, and also I'm using the Impossible Escape Jewel. I paid 45 or 50 chaos on this variation with mine over matter so this one gives me the plus 18 to chaos resistance 7% max life mana regen life regeneration per second which is quite good because you're already having the leech effects from this boy right here and also plus one to all maximum elemental resistances the things that would kill you on this build would probably be chill and shock. Mostly chill because you want attack speed. Not if you, it's like if you don't have multi strike, it's not a big of a thing. You should aim for more damage and more shock and chill effects on the build because you're, you're going to guarantee more power charges. How are you going to guarantee power charges with chick with with chill and shock? chick i'm sorry <laughs> um you're gonna guarantee power charges with this bad boy here this jewel cost me like 90 chaos so i'm i'm generating the power charges now with shock and lightning with with shock and chill effects so yeah this is gonna add up a bunch of damage i'm using this one right here i'm always shocking i'm always chilling the enemy so this is a really good damage increase to your build you can have more of these i put fire damage why would you put fire damage because you know <laughs> i just put it because i'm using inferno cry so i can stack up a little bit of fire damage just you know just to to spread out the damage i'm dealing because of cycling damage reductions if you get like a a, a, a mob that resists chill and shock so yep you can deal fire damage if you want and if, if the mob resists elemental damage you're gonna spread the damage between um i didn't change to the sword i bought this oscar with plus one to maximum frenzy charges and um a minimum of chaos resistance reduction that i could so this one cost me one divine um what else oh yeah i changed the mark thing this thing here increases a lot of the damage it's like nine percent more damage if you have this but i didn't want to put this because it's a huge way until this spot right here i'm not thinking about going this way anymore to get this plus one to max frenzy charges what i am actually thinking is getting suppression maybe this way plus life and this way after i get more levels and get the spell suppression chance is lucky so you roll it twice and increase the overall survivability the anointment that i put i added this smashing strikes one so that i can generate endurance charges without running enduring cry because one of the things that are really difficult in the game is endurance charge generation mechanics 
like the closest one would be this but you know this won't be compensating at all for me i mean you're always getting hit because i'm just stacking armor not evasion rating but the problem is the stationary thing so i would rather just use an anointment for this for now and guarantee on milical on melee critical strike chances and well i'm using these two armor flasks so you won't you won't struggle that lot while you're facing regular monsters only for facing like a strong rare or a strong unique so if you're facing a un an unique and a rare they're gonna get marked so you're generating more power charges you're critting more you're generating more endurance charges and then there's the two frenzy charge generation nodes that i have which is a sword mastery and the smart mastery right here so yeah I'm, I'm having a little bit more damage even though because i'm getting i'm gaining attack speed and movement speed which is not bad at all for the build anyway um so yeah this is the quick update or not so quick update i'm still using this i'm not thinking of getting rid of this because it's a lot of evasion and armor that i'm getting here maybe if i get more i can go this way because you know spell suppression and a lot of multipliers here so how am i going to do that maybe throwing some catalysts and then again get rid of these elemental things but not not these oh man there's a chance to deal double damage the sleek pride is just too good for the build because i have five percent chance to deal double damage here um five percent strength which increases the accuracy rating because of the helm and then five percent here five percent here there's increased melee damage so yeah if you find better variations that can scale even more well congratulations so yeah um you can increase the reservation efficiency oh yeah by the way i did put enlightened support because the problem I was having in that video where I killed, was it Exarch? I think it was Exarch. I said I was lagging and the first video I showed clearing maps. I wasn't actually lagging. It was just the mechanic from the skill. I wasn't casting with a flicker strike on the off time because I didn't have enough mana to sustain myself. So now I have 104 mana on the pool and I'm not struggling that much. I took life tap off, but I'm still okay. However, you can get like a decent ring if you find yourself in a situation where you can put minus seven to non channeling skills mana cost. So, I mean, you want these suffixes anyway, you know, those are really good suffixes. You want the chaos res, you want the accuracy rating. And a resistance because you're gonna lack a, a resistance only if you get like um, good resistance helmet or boots or even this right here so yeah this is the update oh yeah and I also got impact so my damage increased a ton right now um, I removed headsman because I don't need this killing strike even though it's really OP to kill enemies with 20% life, um, I wanted this survivability node because, you know, life leech effects not removed when your when your unreserved life is filled. And, yep. So you have this calling strike to mitigate the need of a calling strike, or you can put ancestral protectors with calling strike. You have Val Ancestral War Chiefs now. They increase a good amount of damage. You can use these to boss. And yeah, also another thing that you can add on this build that will eventually sacrifice a spell suppression chance and the hatred R effect. It's that unique armor plate that increases plus five to level of all skill gems. Let me show you right here. I'll show you on screen 
I'm doing this live, no editing. <laughs> so this is the damage right now with all the changes. So no multi strike, awaken added cold damage. It's this one right here. It's an 18% more damage to the build if you put this armor. It has a lot of evasion rating, so that's a lot of armor. That's 1,000 more armor on the build, which will scale even more with the with the flasks. So let's put the flasks on now. So 46%. I have 90% fizz damage reduction. So yeah, you're gonna get movement speed, but you're gonna take a lot of uh, damage because of the resistances that you have from the armor plate. But you can fix that if you want. If you, you can put like elemental resistances on your passive skill tree, or you can throw the catalysts again on the ring to put 48%. There's always room for improvement. There isn't anything else that I would put here. You can get like, is it pain attunement? And get the um, this chaos resistance, which is only 19. This one is not bad. You can't reach this, but if you could reach this, it would be huge. If vampirism would uh, would were obtainable, if I had uh, impossible escape here, it would make this build go even better. It would be like 20% better because of the recoup. That's a lot of damage. So yeah. I hope you have enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with your friends that watched the first video, or friends that want to build a, fl a, a f Infernal Flicker Strike on a budget. I mean, this weapon here costs a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but you can buy a, a, a weaker variation for 40 chaos. If you just like, build, uh, like, um, after you finish the acts, you can run like, some good mechanics like expeditions to gain some currency and i mean four divs is still a budget build like people say it's only one div but four divs is still affordable really really affordable and everything that i put here is just more damage stuff so there's not much of a difference from what i had before and also you can increase the overall survivability if you get more jewel sockets if I get one, this jewel socket right here, and get another jewel socket anywhere around like here or here, and put the the champion notable that makes you have like what's that? Um, fortification. If you have fortification, well, voila, you're tanky AF, and you're gonna be able to clear higher level content, which is pretty decent. But then again, you're gonna spend some divs on that Forbidden Flash and Flame set, so it's not a mandatory thing right now. Another thing that you could have, but it's also really, really expensive, is a Hatred and Determination Watcher's Eye. Like, um, a, a cold damage penetration while running Hatred. It's gonna increase a lot of the freeze chance. If you do freeze unique bosses, then you can have 100% more damage item which is the heat shiver if you put heat shiver you're gonna get way weaker but like if you freeze a boss instantly <laughs> he's not gonna hit you you know the boss is not gonna hit you and also i put this point right here because i was lacking dexterity you can get rid of this i know i have an extra point allocated here you don't need to comment anything i know it's just that i was lacking the 10 dexterity so i put it anyway i hope you have enjoyed the video again and that's it. See you in the next one.